Hello, good people of planet Earth. This is part two of my little silly little series of editing photos comparing Lightroom, Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4, DPP4, and I'm one raw photo raw 2018. I found a landscape picture, so well, and the sky's blown out a little bit, and I did a couple quick edits. I'm not getting into any masking or Photoshop work. I'm just using these programs, a basic editing, just the basic sliders and stuff. I, in this photo, I did use a gradi graduated filter for an on one photo raw and Lightroom for the sky. Don't have a filter like that for Canon software, but it still turned out kind of good. I'll, here we go. Let me show you what we got here. Okay, this is the right here. This is the original picture out of camera. It's I shot it with the my 6D Mark II with my 16 to 35 millimeter f4 L lens. ISO setting 100, 1 400th of a second shutter speed. Aperture was set at f8, and it's a 32 megabyte raw photo. So this is the original out of the pit camera picture. You can see the sky's all the sun was over here somewhere, but the sky's all blown out here. I mean, it, it's a pretty picture. I mean, but it needs a little work. So I just simply did some basic edits, and this is the original here. This is the Canon software photo right here after editing. I could not get the, I tried everything to get the exposure back up on it. So it's a little bit underexposed, but every time I started to get the exposure up a little bit, the sky would, right there would go away. So I left it here. I mean, this is probably the most realistic one out of all of them. This one is the on one photo raw picture which this one turned out pretty good the clouds are a little a little bit too much contrast but I mean it recovered the sky real good it looks good this is actually kind of what I remember my eye seeing of kind of how it looked except for that I needed probably need to spend a little bit more time tweaking this one but I just quickly edited, edited these three photos just to do this video. Didn't spend a lot of time on them, but I think if I spent a little bit more time on this, I could fix it a little bit better. But that's kind of the way I remember this view looking with my eye that day. And this one is the Lightroom edit. And I think this one turned out probably the best get a lot more details back in there let's zoom in a little bit yeah this one I think Lightroom did the best job this time there's a lot of details way back yonder way back yonder yeah I think I think Lightroom did about the best job Let's zoom in on the on one photo raw picture. And I mean there's a lot of detail there. I need to you can see a little noise in there. It's a lot more noisy than the Lightroom edit. But still a lot of detail. Probably should have dehazed this one a little bit. I don't know what that is up there. I don't. That looks weird. I've noticed that in a few of these on one edits that there's anomalies, an anomalies in the 
exports when you export them into jpegs on your desktop there there is some weird stuff going on I mean, you can't see it unless you zoom in I mean you can almost see it there there's something in the I mean they're still on one photo raw is still tweaking their software and I think they're in still in their hybrid uh, software I think they're supposed to come out with the full program next March or something but I mean this this looks pretty good but I do think Lightroom did the best job with this edit that's I could have actually fixed this a little bit more if I would have spent more time with it and maybe even lighten this up but I think I think Photoshop won this round folks well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Talk to you later. Bye.